sustainable stands out as a distinct approach to competitions. I've juried probably, I don't know, 20 or 30 competitions and uh, been involved in a lot of awards programs, so I know um, fairly well what the conventions are. Uh, one of the things that, that distinguishes Brick Sustainable is that it's a completely open solicitation, whether you're a professional, a student, it doesn't even limit I don't think it limits anyone in the industry that wants to think about innovation. So, first of all, it's a large catch basin. Um, second of all, it it is uh, privately sponsored, which underscores really the best of what I think American industry and American society um, advances to the world, which is that uh, we all gain by standing on each other's shoulders and that we don't have to depend only on public investment or support for uh, initiatives like this. Um, I think lastly, the, um, the, focus of the focus of attention on masonry uh, construction, which is one of the oldest in the civilization and um, one of the ones I think most in need of innovation, and using the competition format to call forth ideas for innovation, I, I think that's really spectacular. I think that as we uh, hear the, the remarks and the uh, comments of the jurors uh, to our design competition statement and the criteria we used, I think we're going to learn how we can better the contest for 2011 and use the data that we've got from this contest to get another uh, successful contest in 2010 and hopefully build them. And I'm looking forward to the evolution and, and more entries and, and um, solving some of the problems so that, that we can come up with designs that do what the task is intended to do, which is to get more clay brick construction in the future and to find our areas that we can improve market share and that we know that it's sustainable, energy efficient, and it improves our industry. Because I think it's quite important that you yeah, like, change how you call, yeah. you change how you reach out, the schedule. I think you're going to see three times this number of ap applications if you do this a little differently. Like the biggest learning that came from today was the discussion around criteria, yeah. which the Clearer participants criteria. should, should yes, would yes, have done no, better yeah. and should yeah. have known going into it. And I, you know, maybe maybe the criteria for next year could be a little bit more, more yeah. explicit. Explicit. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. so. This is how innovation really succeeds, as you reinforce in spot locations where you're really trying to tease out the, the potential of a, of a building system material. Mm -hmm. uh, the group has discussed many ways in which to make this competition become more a central part of both practice and education. And, and a couple of the ideas that we've talked about is um, engaging faculty in uh, sharing their innovative curriculum for, for masonry and brick construction, uh, ways in which you can teach the next generation of architects and civil engineers uh, about the value of brick and the creativity and excitement of bricks. When it comes to the industry's interface with education, that there should perhaps be a complementary competition that focuses on educators. That uh, rewards educators for developing innovative curricula, innovative course materials, um, actually primes the pump for research to show where innovations are uh, most viable so that, that when the students come to the learning environment or come to the comp competition environment, they're better armed to be jumpstart and do more effective work. I also think faculty are often researchers and the industry could do a lot to help academia by, by funding research and testing and uh, pushing the boundaries for the, for the material in the system. I would certainly be interested in serving on the panel of jurors again. And in particular, I'm interested in um, doing this in other materials and other industries as well. So for me, it's, it's more like um, how do you do this for brick and then for other materials and take, take this model into um, different industries. And then there is always that window in architectural practice when all the jobs are sort of tapering off and you say, okay, let's find a competition uh, that's really exciting, that allows us to get some international acclaim and maybe some, some uh, uh, reward um, capital 
And I think if we can make this an annual event or a biannual event where people begin to really recognize its, its presence, uh, it will increase the number of, of competitors.